Hello, everybody, and welcome to unit four. Uh, so in this unit, we're moving from the expository essay that we worked on in unit three. And we're going to uh, kind of build upon that and write in a different rhetorical space, which is persuasive writing. Um, and really, an expository essay or an informative essay has the intent to share information with somebody, uh, but doesn't necessarily have the expressed intent to persuade them to think differently or to have them adopt a new mindset. Now, it's, it's sometimes really hard to differentiate between informative writing or expository writing and persuasive writing. Because sometimes in the process of writing really compelling informative text, people do change their opinions. Um, but it's certainly not the expressed intent, right? And so if we're writing to persuade, or sometimes people say writing an argumentative essay, uh, which are really very similar um, approaches, what we're trying to do is we're trying to present our perspective. And if you think back to the beginning of the framework of this class, when we're thinking about rhetoric, a lot of times what we're trying to do is we're trying to expose a different perspective, right? So, so going back to that old metaphor that we've used, if one person looks at a tree and sees lumber and another person looks at a tree and sees a resource like a, um, a biodiversity, an opportunity for biodiversity, right, and values the conservation of that tree, those people are going to necessarily be in conflict because of the way they view this objective reality, the way they view the world, their ideals. And so when we're writing persuasively. What we're trying to do is we're trying to help people to move from their side of the tree, from their side of the idea, over to our side. And so in order to do this, what we're looking at uh, is we're looking at the subject of education as um, the subject of education as one of these objective realities. We've all been in classrooms, we're taking a class right now, at least one class, you probably have classes you liked, you probably have classes you didn't like. And at this point, you've been in, in the classroom for at least 12 or so years. And so my question is, how can we take our experience and look at some other experiences, some curated experiences that we looked at, so the Rebecca Cox and the Paulo Freire and the uh, Sir Ken Robinson. And how can we use those to help present a solution or how can we use those to help argue for a better or different way of thinking about the world? And in this class, we've spent a decent amount of time. We've got our literacy narrative. We've talked about the way that we learn how to read. Um, now we're reading some of these different perspectives on uh, education, on grading. Uh, there's the Alfie Khan from degrading to degrading text. We have all of these different perspectives on what constitutes a good education. And so the challenge in this unit is going to be to read these to synthesize a um, kind of a expository idea that shows what education is, but then take it a step further and argue what education should be. And so what I'm going to ask you to do in this unit is I want you to take and, and see if any of the perspectives. So we have Sir Ken Robinson, who had the TED Talk, Changing Paradigms of Education. We have Paulo Freire, which I'm going to release a separate video or, or maybe use a colleague's video um, that explains uh, Paulo Freire. Um, we have Rebecca Cox, who talks about fear in college and the way that we understand fear and its relationship to our experiences in a classroom. And then we have Alfie Khan, who talks about um, the problematic nature of traditional grading. So you have all of these perspectives. And I want you to see, is there one that you can identify with? Is there one that you think is right or more right compared to either the others or compared to other perspectives that you've had throughout your education? And really, the, uh, the prompt is going to be very open. I'm going to wait um, until the end of the week. I'm going to uh, release the prompt shortly, but it's simply going to ask you to point to a problem in education and recommend or persuade us that there is a, an effective solution. So it's an essay that really exists in two parts. One part is exposing the problem, which is very similar to essay one, where we were exposing what happiness is. And the second part is arguing for a single um, or maybe a, a set of solutions that you think meet or solve that problem. 
And so as you're going through, um, certainly in your ETA sheets, but in your own reflections, think about like which of these solutions work or which of these do the best job of painting the issues in education. In the Paulo Freire text, you're going to see that there are a lot of things um, that we could look at in terms of the way that education has been set up or the way that we experience it that uh, leaves space for improvement. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I look forward to engaging with you in the discussion boards and thinking about um, some different perspectives on our modern education system.